It's the Rising Sun Farm Maiden. Next, this is the final race of the day here from Fosslas. It's a two and a half mile novice chase. And the top one is Downtown Man. Jim Murray, Jovial Apparent, Thomas Rogers, Prospect, David Hooley. Who is the more foolish? Joshua Sutherland, back at old David Robertson, first prize, Ryan Tamasebi, Ice Gem, Craig Beckwith, Jardine's Lookout, Graham Clitterbook, and Silin Fortunata for Craig Allen. So nine of them men. Some pretty powerful stables represented in this maiden. And away they go. They way towards the first of the fences, starting almost on a bend. And Silin Fortunata is the leader. A very good day to put my teeth in the wrong way around, did I? It's Silent Fortune Arthur in the lead, Jardine's look at, and Downtown Manor next, and then who is the more foolish as they get to the first of 18 fences. So it's going to be a stiff test for these novices, and they are pretty tightly packed at the moment. It's probably only four lengths first to last as they get to the second, and there's a fall away, Jovian Apparent's gone, and I don't know if the. Um, Another one there, first prize, saw it out in the corner of its eye, but that made a mistake as well. And another one's gone, prospect's gone. So Thomas Rogers and David Hooley out of the race already. And it might be a quick fire double for the Hooley stable as they take the fourth. And we've already lost two of the nine. And we haven't even given them a proper run through yet then. So it's Silent Fortunata who comes to this fifth. It's a stiff old track, isn't it, Foss? Last these fences come up pretty quickly. And there's a lot of them. And Silent Fortunata is the leader by about four lengths to the grey back at old, who's second on the outside of Jardine's lookout. Then Downtown Man in the black with the red sleeves, then the black and the red hoops of who's the more foolish. And on that one's inside is Ice Gem. And then after that one, first prize, the one that made a mistake earlier on, is the Bat Marker. But we've already lost two, remember? As they come down towards the next, and Silent Fortunata. Just keeping out of trouble in the lead as they get over number six. They're already quite well strung out. The rain's coming down as well. Both the horses are running along riderless as they get over number seven. And Silent Fortunata leads by about four to Downtown Man who's moving into second. The grey back out old is third. And Jardine's look out as they take number eight. Make their way towards the next, which will be fence number nine, and that'll be the midway point in the jumping. And a mistake by the grey back at old there as they come past the stand. That will be the there's the winning post. That fence they've just jumped with the last time. Next circle as they swing out left handed. Then I hope this rain stops before too long because I'm going to jump in the starters' orders helicopter after this race and whiz off to Stratford for the final two races of the day. Oh, no, I think there's one after that. I'm going to, over in Ireland, but it's Silent Fortunata who's the leader. And by about three to Downtown Man in second. Similar length gap to the third place Jardine's Lookout, who's got two lengths on the remainder of them, who are headed by Back Out Old, and then who's the more foolish Ice Gem. And finally, first price. So since those two early fallers and the jumping's been pretty good as they get to the tenth. Lead it. Oh, and what did I say that for? Because Downtown Man has gone, and Jim Murray will be putting pins in a little doll of me if he's got one as they come to the eleventh. Because as soon as I said the jumping was okay, we've lost another one. So Silent Fortunata is about seven clear. Coming to this ditch, and they all skipped over that one nicely. They're beginning to close in on the leader there. So Jockey giving that one a bit of a breather. Was it coming? To the end of its tether, they get over the 13th, and Silent Fortunata is about three clear of who is the more foolish than Jardine's look at. And Ice Gem on mistake there by Back at Old. First prize hasn't really got going yet at the back. There's still a good four and a half furlongs to go, and there's still a fair bit of jumping to do as well. It's Silent Fortunata in the lead. Being pushed along again by the jockey. Jardine's look out his second. Who is the more foolish than Ice Gem? Bit of a gap to back out. Old first prize beginning to struggle. They've got four more fences to take. And Silent Fortunata is back into a three or four length lead again. With Jardine's look out the big chaser in second. On the inside is Ice Gem. The leader stood off that one. And a much better jump by Jardine's look out. And suddenly gets to within half a length of the leader. Silent Fortunata sending out a few distress signals as they come down towards the third last. Gets over that one. But this time at the slow jump was Jardine's look out. Ice 
Bush. Jem is now going with a run. It's going to need to pull off the fence as they come down towards the second last. It's Silent Fortunata by a length. Over the second last they go. And they will jump that one a little bit slowly. But who is the more foolish? He's starting to run on Jardine's look at it's getting back into it. But Silent Fortunata is sticking on gamey in the lead. Over the final fence they go. And Silent Fortunata has got enough under that hood, I think. Racing up towards the line. Silent Fortunata takes it from who is the more foolish? Jardine's look at was second and it looked quite a few times during that race as though Simon Fortunato was going to be swamped by the field but stuck on well and wins the race well, a good couple of lengths in the end that's the first one of the day for Craig Allen and Simon Fortunato is the winner for Craig Allen who is the more foolish for Joshua Sutherland second Jardine's look at for Graham Clutterbuck was third, back at old for David Robertson fourth, and Ice Gem for Craig Beckwith was fifth.